All right, let's get started with networking in Linux. And uh, first, uh, I want to show you how to verify which uh, host name and IP address are assigned to Linux host. And afterwards, I'll explain you how to use the ping, trace route, and NS lookup utilities. But if I'll enter such command as ping here in this Ubuntu computer or enter NS lookup, I'll get the answer command not found. And the reason for that is that this Ubuntu Docker container does not have those IP utilities out of the box. And if you want to get them, you need to install them using apt get application. But uh, it is much more easier to use another Docker container with another image called Alpine. And that image already has those all utilities out of the box. That's why I suggest now to create one more Docker container and launch all those commands there. Let me open up new tab and here in new tab I'll create new Docker container using command docker run dash it and here will be name of the image I will use and it is Alpine, like so. It is the smallest Linux system available, but it has all necessary utilities like ping, NSLOOKUP and so on. That's why we will use it in this and next lectures. Alright, let's start this Alpine container. Unable to find image Alpine latest locally, we are downloading now image from Docker Hub. Pulling image, let's wait a bit. Download was finished and now I see that I'm inside of the shell of this new Alpine container. And you see that uh, I'm actually inside of the SH shell and I'm able to verify that echo dollar sign zero. And yes, here is location for current shell, this SH shell. And it is actually default shell for Alpine container. I'm completely happy with SH shell. Let's proceed to using it here in this and next lectures. And first command I want to enter here is host name. With this command, you could get host name of the Linux computer. And in this case, host name is set of hexadecimal characters. And this host name was generated automatically by Docker. But usually Linux computers have some meaningful host names. For example, if I switch to this virtual machine and enter here same command host name, I'll see Ubuntu. And in this case, host name of this computer is Ubuntu. If you are using some remote servers, usually host name matches with domain name of a server if you are using domain names there. Alright, let's proceed. Next command I want to enter is host name with option dash i. With this option you could get IP address that was assigned to this Linux computer. This computer has only one IP address and you see it here. 172.17.03. And this address, same as hostname, was assigned to this Docker container automatically by Docker. And this address is actually private IP address. It is from private IP addresses range. And if this container wants to connect to internet, somewhere on the way, network address translation happens. And this private IP address is translated to public IP address. And that's why I am able, for example, to enter ping command and Ping, for example, google.com. Ping is used for verification of connectivity with remote servers. And here you see that uh, google.com server has responded from this IP address. And this IP address is public IP address. And that means that the connectivity between this container, between this Linux computer and remote google.com server was established successfully. That's how you could verify which IP address and hostname were assigned to Linux computer. Let me show you other commands. First one is IP address. With this command you could get information about all network interfaces that this computer has. And I want to talk about this section and this section. In this section you see information about loopback interface. And actually every computer that uh, has IP address has such loopback interface. And notice that the IP address of this loopback interface is 127.0.0.1. And you could actually use ping command and verify connectivity with this loopback address 127.0.0.1, like so. And you'll see response from the same address. And actually in this case computer pings itself. It verifies connectivity with itself. 
And using this command, you are able to verify that uh, IP addressing stack actually is working on Linux computer. And again, every computer has such loopback IP address interface. Also, there is a reserved name of the computer called localhost. And this uh, localhost name actually resolves to this IP address. And you could verify that uh, by entering command ping localhost. And you'll get response from the same address as before, from loopback address 127.0.0.1. This IP address is reserved and is used only for loopback purposes. Alright, let's have a look at other interface IP address again. And in this section you see that uh, this interface is named Ethernet0 and here is its IP address with network mask. IP address again is from private range. Also, you see here in this section MAC address of this computer. MAC address is hardware address, but actually in this case it is virtual and it was assigned again automatically by Docker. If I go to this uh, virtual machine and enter same command here, IP address, I'll get uh, similar information. For example, I see loopback interface here with address 127.0.0.1 and I see Ethernet interface information here. And here is IP address for this computer in this case 192, 168 to 159 with mask 24. And this address is also from one of the private IP addresses range. Also, you may notice uh, Docker 0 interface, and the reason for that is that I'm running Docker inside of this uh, Ubuntu computer. And this Docker 0 interface has this IP address 172.17.01 with mask 16. Alright, that's how you could get information about IP addresses that uh, are assigned to computer. Also, you could uh, use a grab command in order to filter output. I'll add here pipe and type grab and here type for example init and in this case you'll get only IP addresses that are assigned to some of interfaces. Alright, next command IP route. With this command you could get information about routing table for this Linux computer. And actually this Linux computer has only one Ethernet interface and that's why there is just a single default route via default router 172.17.0.1. It's IP address of the default router. And via this IP address all traffic is sent from this computer to outside world to internet. And it is done via Ethernet 0 interface. And here again you see IP address that was assigned to this computer. We could verify it again using hostname-i command. Those IP addresses match. And here on this line you see actually connected route for this computer. It has one of the IP addresses from this network. That's why this network appears as directly attached network to this computer. And if I enter same command here, let me do that, clear terminal, and enter IP route, I'll get actually two different directly connected routes, because this uh, computer has two different IP addresses in different networks, Docker 0 and ENS 3.3. And default route points to this IP address, it is default gateway for this uh, computer. Alright, that's all about network settings uh, that were set uh, for Linux computer and you are able to verify them using such commands as IP route, IP address and one more command if config. I have forgotten to show you that. With this command you could get actually similar information but in other format. For example, here again you see information about IP address, broadcast address and mask for this computer. Also here is MAC address of this interface, Ethernet 0 interface. And again, you could use a grab command in order to filter output and see only internet IP addresses like so. Alright, that's all what I wanted to demonstrate you here in this lecture. And using if config, IP address, IP route, hostname and hostname-i, you could get information about IP addresses, masks, default gateways and MAC addresses of the Linux computer. That's all for this lecture and in the next one let's use such commands as ping, traceroute and nslookup. With those commands you could verify connectivity with remote servers and you are able to perform DNS lookups. I'll see you next. Bye-bye.